Even before sound was added to picture back in 1927, the musical score has played an important role in shaping filmgoers' emotions. The music you hear is an underscore. What you hear is the background music on all the major motion pictures. A large percentage of that is recorded right here on this, on this recording stage. From the Shawshank Redemption to Pirates of the Caribbean, some of the most popular film scores have been created here. But soon, the legendary Todd A.O. scoring stage will be closing its doors. Right now, uh, the stage uh, has been slated. They're going to lose their lease. This is an, a unique situation where this stage is actually not owned by the studio. It's at least by, uh, by another facility. And uh, that lease is going to be up. And uh, right now, we're slated to close the stage. And that means the stage will be gone forever. So many scores that have won Oscars have been recorded here. Lion King, we did Titanic here, and going back to Heifetz in the early days who recorded here. This is really our most historic stage, and I'm told the largest facility not only in the United States, but perhaps in the world. I've been in here for 18 years. I haven't recorded in any other recording stage in LA. And when I started working here, it was just like home. There is a strong sense of history and family within the walls of this stage. It's not just losing stage, it's losing history and losing something that we all have in our heart. It's a place where high artistic standards have been set that have benefited the community of Los Angeles in terms of its operas and orchestras and other performances that goes on because of the world-class group of people that have come here. But there's more than just tears involved with the closing of the stage. There's an issue that threatens to change the face of film scoring in Los Angeles. There are only really three stages in all of Los Angeles that support uh, an orchestra this size, a 100, 120-piece orchestra. With only two other large stages, uh, I don't see how we can accommodate the volume uh, of film work that is ahead of us. When the studios are making their big tentpole pictures for release, for the summer releases, for the holiday releases, they all need to be scoring at exactly the same time. All three stages are booked 14 hours a day as it is. Now, where do people take their movies to get scored when there are only two stages? It's going to be a major dilemma. My fear is what will happen is this work will probably, uh, probably leave for London. And, uh, and then once we lose that, it'll be work that's lost forever. What's worse is, uh, I would say, probably in terms of the motion picture work for, for musicians working in this industry, about 20% of that work happens right here on this stage. Uh, so if we have a closure of this stage, the employment loss from this will be about 4 to $5 million a year, not counting uh, what happens on residuals, health care costs, pension costs, all the other ancillary issues that are going to happen. But uh, literally millions and millions of dollars for hundreds and hundreds of musicians on a daily basis will be lost in terms of employment. It will have an, an economic impact, an unnecessary one. This is not a case of uh, our losing jobs, but we're now going to be sending jobs away that want to come here. Having a healthy recording business here also impacts the uh, other businesses, the opera uh, pools on the same group of musicians, uh, various orchestras in town, other chamber music ensembles. It's really the movie business that brings the great musicians here that enable them to actually contribute to the cultural lifeblood of this community. In the center of the universe of movie making, there are only two scoring stages capable of doing this. If you took sound stages away or 4,000 film cameras away, what would people do without film cameras? You know, it's the same sort of thing. It's just there's no place to record. And eventually that will take its toll on people won't be able to record in LA. And hence the outfall of that is if they're going out of the city, they're not using LA musicians, of course. And if they're going out of the country, they're not using American Federation of Musicians at all. So when the stage closes in December, it will leave behind two decades of movie music magic. And although it seems the fate of the stage has already been decided, many are still hoping for a Hollywood ending. We're hoping that people will realize both the historical uh, importance of this stage. This is the only stage that was actually built and designed for a, for a scoring stage. All the others were converted from other facilities. Uh, this one was made from the ground up as a, as a scoring stage. It's a stage we all love and respect and it's hard to imagine life without Tadeo. I'm devastated that this place is gone. It's a huge loss. For Time Warner, SoCal News, I'm Matthew Price.